and foremost, I got to welcome you back to Studio Life 10X. This is a show where I'm talking about life in the studio, music production, music equipment, reviews, tutorials, business ownership with a goal of helping you achieve by giving you information that helps you achieve and increase your belief in yourself, but eliminate procrastination. You feel me? Ultimately, I want to motivate you to make studio life a way of life. I'm DJ Hood Shaka, the retired radio personality. I'm an audio engineer. I'm a professional studio owner, and I am a home studio owner. And I got to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe. Listen, I am DJ Hood Shaka on all social media platforms. So I'm saying, get familiar with me, you know. But listen, in this episode, I am very excited, and I'm going to be talking about the Rodecaster Pro Two. Now, listen, if you're into music production, then you already know that when Rode unveiled the original Rodecaster Pro, it was something that was unusual and it was ahead of its time because it was capable of mixing desk um, with like a it was it was a desktop experience you know, but you could focus on podcasting. You got what I'm saying? Look, the first roadcaster made it easy to record multiple guests in person or over the internet or on the phone, but it was great because you could add background music and audio enhancements all into your mix, and you could do that in real time with minimal processing. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, it was like a mini radio station in a box. <laughs> I'm just saying that's just, so I say, all. Oh, I'm sorry that I'm getting fumbled, but I'm so excited about this thing. You have no idea. So I am so ecstatic and even more excited, you know, because I'm anticipating Something very great because I put something on pre-order and Rode already announced that the Rode Caster Pro 2 is coming. And this time it's specifically designed for all creators. So if you're into podcasting, if you're into streaming, if you're into music production, the new Rode Caster Pro 2 it looks great, and the hardware looks massively impressive. Do you understand what I'm saying? Look, it's very familiar, but look, I've been doing the research, and my research told me that there are a few changes that um, will improve your audio experience. You got what I'm saying? Look, so with this new RCP2, it's like a little smaller this time. You know what I'm saying? And to make that happen, the Rodecaster Pro, it had to lose two physical fader strips. But you still have as many channels available, but some are assigned through a virtual assignment. You know what I'm saying? So these virtual controls, so to me, I think that's a great move. You know what I'm saying? It's going to give me extra desk space and it's going to give me extra controls because now they're built into the system. Another thing that I like about the external hardware is that you can see that it has like a rotary dial on it. You know what I'm saying? The screen looks bigger. You know, of course, I'm just looking at the screen and looking at what you're looking at. But, you know, the, they don't adjust it. The, the power button is to the left now. They got this rotary screen, you know, this rotary control. And I'm like, man, hmm. And this is greatness right here. Now, I don't have a picture of the back of the RCP2, but um, the new Rodecaster Pro has combo jacks in the back instead of straight XLR connections like the original. So that opens the Rodecaster Pro 2 up to so many things like live instrumentation. You got what I'm saying? Like, so if you if you play guitars or if you like operating a synthesizer, I'm telling you, man, this thing is the thing for you. I call that winning, man. Look, whatever you plug into the new Rodecaster, it should sound better um, because it comes equipped with 
what they're saying is some type of new preamps. You know, now I did like the, I like the current preamps on my Rodecaster Pro, you know, so if they are even better, come on. They saying they built this thing from the ground up and it looks so beautiful. Oh my goodness, man. I'm just, I'm, I call that winning though. You know what I'm saying? They are telling us that the new preamps that were built from the ground up can drive even the most hungriest microphones. Now I normally use a uh, Shure SM7B. I use a RE27 ND. Now these are massively gain hungry microphones. Now, Rode claims the new preamps are so powerful and so quiet that if you use an inline signal booster, you know, like a Fethead or a CM2 or a Cloud Lifter, then technically it would not be beneficial to your audio quality. Now, I saw a video on YouTube and it said that if you connect um, those cloud a cloud lifter or a fit head or a cm2 microphone booster or whatever then it's gonna mess the sound up you know now i have one on pre-order so i have this i'm talking about this rollcaster pro 2 i have it on pre-order so i'm gonna have to test that myself because like i said man i got a lot of game hungry microphones now on the listening side of things um of course this rollcaster pro 2 still has bluetooth capability and it's different this time around because it supports audio out and audio in. So that means you can play music and your team can monitor your show wirelessly or on speakers or headphones. I'm saying, man, that's crazy. Roll, they also claim that if you record a call in guest over Bluetooth, then they're saying that the sound quality of that is going to improve between the phone and the Rodecaster Pro. Now, I got to check that myself, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, what? Better phone quality? Even though I have recorded a lot of podcasts on my Rodecaster Pro, but I never used um, the Bluetooth to do an actual on phone call. You know, I always hardwired in through a TRRS connection. You got what I'm saying? One of the things that I noticed is that there's, because um, if you look at this right now, you can see that there's no longer a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the front of this Rollcaster Pro. Now, on the original, of course, um, the producer or the, the show host or whatever, they could connect their headphones either around the back of it or the front. You got what I'm saying? Because it had a dedicated jack and in the front and it's very convenient. I'm speaking to you right now on the Vol Rodecaster Pro. So it's massively convenient for this headphone jack to be plugged right into this you know what I'm saying? Talking to you instead of plugging it on the back, you know, but that's just, that's, that's minor stuff, but you get what I'm saying. Look, the, um, Rodecaster pro two, um, they're saying that this is, this is like, it has built in Wi-Fi, right? And it's saying it has a built in ethernet adapter. So that allows it to have ethernet connectivity. You know what I'm saying? So, you can easily update without having to leave your computer on, you know, and when I say computer, I mean the Rodecaster Pro because I'm seeing online, I do all this research and it's saying that it has like a gigantic processing chip. So it's like a, a baby computer, you know, I'm like, um, I'm very impressed. You know what I'm saying? Now, one thing that I did notice with the, I went to road.com and it says that you can also connect it to two PCs at the same time, or even your phone. And that makes it perfect. If you're a podcaster on the go, or if you stream games, I'm telling you, man, because there are a lot of people who have separate gaming rigs and they can just use this RCP two and switch between the two and do streaming and do, come on, man. And one thing they was also saying 
is that you can record um, directly to a SSD drive or a memory card. Look, man, like I said, I already have one on pre-order. I'm thinking about um, pre-ordering two of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm very excited about this RCP2. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if you plan to get one. I think this is another game changer, especially with how customizable the workflow is. I'm telling you, man, I'm very impressed. Ro, you're doing a great job. Look, this new Rodecaster Pro has eight smart pads that can trigger audio or they can send MIDI. You know what I'm saying? It can be assigned to it. Can You can assign an action to the pad. Come on, man. Like you can tell one of the pads to fade out or you can use the pad to switch cameras in a live stream, just like a stream deck. You can also reassign, let's say, mixer, your mixer channels um, so you can map different inputs to the same one fader. And then you can save that as one profile. Come on, man. Like I said, I'm so impressed. I'm very excited. There are also a number of new audio effects, including like stereo panning, echo, uh, reverb. They got voice changing effects. Overall, it's so much more than the RCP one. I'm telling you, man, the new audio internals, the connectivity, Man, it's going to make this thing a great option for content creators. And it's going to be the best way to connect, configure, process audio. I'm telling you, man, it is so flexible, especially for streamers. Man, come on, man. It has dual PC connectivity. I'm saying I heard this thing can help. It's, it's like a OBS controller as well. I'm telling you, the ability to sync and delay audio in a streaming application, just that alone, to me, is a game changer. You know what I'm saying? Look, this RCP2 is making everyone shake their head. You got what I'm saying? And look, I have mine on pre-order. I'm anticipating that this new RCP... It's going to be it's going to be the same way when it first came into the industry. It shook up everything. It made it where every single electronic manufacturer had to rearrange what they were doing. Everything because it made it where this Rodecaster Pro made it where everything that you wanted, everything that you complained about. It took care of everything. I'm talking about it took care of almost every single thing that you could want to do. Because at one point in time, I had to have a microphone. I had to have a microphone stand. That microphone, of course, more than likely, it was going to be have a XLR connectivity. I had to connect that into a sound card or a... Um, and then I would have to run that signal into a compressor. And then I would have to run that signal into a mixer. You got what I'm saying? And then that mixer um, was connected to that sound card, of course. And then that sound card was connected to a computer or through to uh, uh, external recording device. You know, and then all of that would also be synced in post-production with the camera. You got what I'm saying? Like, so I'm saying a lot with, without, I'm trying to say a lot without saying a lot. It just made it where it's so convenient. That's what this Rodecaster Pro, it took so many different elements, so many different pieces of machinery, pieces of technology, enhanced technology, and just pushed it into one box and it sounded great. And it was what some would consider affordable.
You got what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to this RCP2. It's supposed to drop in mid-June. And I'm on pre-order right now. As soon as it gets here, I'm going to do an unboxing on it. And then I'm going to have a, I'm probably going to get a, a Studio Life overhead cam. And we're going to just do a lot of great things. You know, I just want to explore this thing. You know, but listen, that's going to do it for me. Feel free to hit me up on DJ Hood Shocker at Yahoo.com. This is Studio Life 10X. I got to remind you to commit to the full time studio grind. Now, before I get out of here, listen, I understand that my style, who I am as a person, just how I am, the words that I use, my sentences, it may not be used to what you are accustomed to. You got what I'm saying, but I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm talking about. I may not have the best sentences that you are used to because I don't live in this perfect world, you know, and we, we're just living in a perfect world. Everyone, especially as it applies to this um, electronics and music equipment, everybody seems like they're the, the professional now. Everyone seems like they know so much. I don't know everything. I don't want to know everything. You got what I'm saying? I just want to assist the people that I can assist. And that's why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? So listen, do me a favor. I need you to stay focused. Stay safe and support the hood. You feel me?